So she's 39, he's 43. He says, my wife and I have been together for 11 years and married for six. We have a toddler and five days ago, I learned of a month long emotional affair between her and a coworker of hers after they'd spent time together in a hotel room while she was on a work trip two weeks prior. I learned about this because AP's wife's mother, AP's mother-in-law, messaged me on Facebook with 15 screenshots of their IG conversations that occurred during that work trip, including comments between the two of them reminiscing about their quote, chair time. <laughs> Along with a bunch of emojis and other flirtatious banter. When I read her initial Facebook message, I was shaking, my heart was raising, and I was tunnel visioned. My wife was upstairs, so when she came down, I immediately asked if anything happened during the trip that I should know about, and I learned here that the term is called trickle truthing. <laughs> yeah, of course. Denial of anything that happened was her response. And eventually, after 10 minutes, she finally admitted to getting drunk at a hotel bar and locking lips with him in her room. I asked her point blank if she slept with him or if anything extremely intimate happened. Her response was a resounding no. She proceeds to tell me that there was no intimate touching, nothing under shirts or nothing exposed, just the lip locking for an extended period of time in a chair. Bro, come on. She's almost 40. What is this? No one's just locking lips in a hotel chair. He says, this is what she told me multiple times. She says it started in the doorway with him initiating. Then they went to the chair. <laughs> she ended up, quote, getting sick gastrointestinally and spent time on the floor, bathroom and on the bed while he laid on the other side. Oh, I'm sure she spent plenty of time on the floor, in the bathroom, the bed, but not getting sick. Maybe she was getting something that rhymes with sick. He says she claimed that this went on till 6.30 a.m. And the next night on their work trip in a different town, it was a two-night thing. He spent time in her hotel until 10 p.m. or so. The text message there was him asking if she could use company, and her response was something like, quote, you can join, as she was watching TV. Some smooching also occurred that night while she was sober. My wife has had an alcohol problem for many years and had been sober for almost six. Yeah. Never get with a girl who has alcohol problems. Before this work trip, she and I had a discussion about her desire to bring alcohol back into her life on a very limited basis during date nights. <laughs> Not a good idea for a person like her. Also included discussions about her having beverages with her work peers when they go on these quarterly trips. Clearly, that was a bad idea. I obviously disagreed with the suggestion, as did almost everyone in the r slash alcoholism sub, but she did it anyway. She lied to me about how much she had to drink that night and ended up telling me that she had multiple drinks including two shots at the hotel bar with her work peers. So after six years, this was the first time that she had drank. Then this happens. Anyway, back to the emotional affair. I learned that this flirting, banter, and whatever else has been going on since early October, or so I'm told. I asked my wife why she did what she did, if, as she says, our marriage is solid. And yeah, it is. We have a child together. We don't really argue about anything, and we have a good home life. Sounds like it's not as solid as you thought. Our intimacy has dwindled since having our child two years ago, but our bedroom life hasn't completely gone south. After some time for her to really think about her actions, the response I got was that it was the excitement, newness, and the feeling of being desired. <laughs> when isn't it with these people? Along with him just being a great work friend. Yeah, I'm sure he acted like a real great friend, knowing he was going to be taking business trips with a needy, unstable, alcoholic skank. He says, after having deeper discussions around this line of thinking, she mentioned that it likely would have never gone to an intimate place. What does that mean? It did go to that place. I asked multiple times how far this would have gone if the AP spouse had not learned of this. She concluded that what she enjoyed from it was having him, quote, crawl out of his skin, as she puts it. What does that mean? Basically, obtaining some pleasure over being desirable or wanted that would likely have never been resolved by an intimate bedroom relationship. She explained to me repeatedly that she does not feel any romantic or intimate feelings for this guy and that it, quote, just happened. Yeah, we never heard that before. She admitted it was selfish and wrong, and I told her that what hurt me the most was the betrayal and secrecy. I think what hurt the most was uh, him penetrating your wife. He says, I had so much anxiety and lost sleep when she went on her work trip because of her flawed relationship with alcohol, and little did I know that this was the least of my worries. Well, it kind of was the most of your worries. You just have to trust me, babe, was the text I was sent the morning after when I asked her about how much she had to drink the previous night. I never would have expected her to do this, though. Bro, come on. How many times do we have to hear this? You're going to sit here and in the same sentence try to claim that you were uneasy about the fact that she was going on this work trip because you knew she was a wild alcoholic, but also say that you never expected this. Of course you expected this. That's why you had the anxiety. You wouldn't even be worried about what she was going to do when she was drinking if you didn't suspect she could have done something like this. I love when guys say this. It's like, obviously, you saw the signs. You knew the red flags were there. You knew the type of person she was. You knew somewhere in the back of your mind that this was a possibility, but you ignored it 
continue to marry and have kids with this person and then pretend like you didn't know this was coming after the fact. And this is exactly what I always tell guys because this is the kind of thing I hear from people all the time. It's like when you know that your girlfriend or the person you're dating prior to getting involved on a level as deep as this guy, if she's an alcoholic, has mental issues, has all these signs that give you anxiety when she goes out of town, then clearly you know you're not with the right person. And it's prior to something like this happening that you need to come to the realization and prevent this by not being with the person in general. But anyway, he says, Regarding the AP and his wife, I learned that this isn't the first time he's done this in the past seven years of their marriage, and that she went through his IG chats on another device, actually seeing the combo live as they occurred, because she had an inkling something would happen too while he was away for the work trip. I've been in contact with her through text, and she's a very pleasant and upset woman who likely will file for divorce. Yeah, as you should. It's obvious though that he just doesn't care about hurting her or how his actions could hurt others. As for me, I'm having very conflicting feelings about her short-lived affair and what might come of this. Since D-Day, I felt extremely hurt, then anger, then forgiveness, then anger again. And at times when I feel fine, I'm afraid I'm coming off as a pushover, bro. If you allow her to just roll over you with this, then that's exactly what you are. But he says, showing my wife that she can get away with this again. Yeah, that's what you're doing. They're going to be traveling again come January, and I don't know what to do about that. Leave. Anyway, this incident has triggered some real deep and open discussions with my wife about desire, intimacy, and what she and I want. What you should want is somebody else. It first started with me trying to understand what she was seeking or what she felt was missing from her life and if there was anything we could do together to bring some excitement or feeling of newness into our marriage without the secrecy and betrayal. Yeah, obviously that was implied, but it's probably not going to happen. We aren't explicitly talking about opening the marriage, but she expressed that she would be fine and would encourage me to have a person at work that I could banter with and potentially smooch. Okay, bro. So she wants to be able to go out and sleep with random guys at work, but for you, it's only okay if you find someone you can just banter with and possibly peck on the lips. Get real. You need to tell this chick to take a permanent trip out of your life. He says, I don't know. It's weird to me right now. Is this her way of giving me a pass or even saying that she wants an open marriage but doesn't want to really admit to it yet to me or herself? Bro, she obviously wants to be open in this marriage. The only reason she's not diving right into it is because she wants to be open. She doesn't want you to be. This is how most cheaters like her are. They want to be able to go out and do whatever they want with whoever, but the idea of you doing whatever you want totally destroys them, which is why typically they don't welcome the idea of an open marriage. They just do things behind your back because they want to keep you on lockdown while they behave as freely as they can, as well as the fact that they just fear if they do open it completely and allow you to go out and meet other people, then eventually you're going to find one person who's better than them and leave them for that other person. They don't want to take that risk, so they'd rather just betray you, make you miserable while they get everything they want. He continues, divorce right now is not on the table. <laughs> okay. Bro, there's no helping you. And I know an open marriage with boundaries of some sort really isn't the best solution for something like this, and I realize that shouldn't even be discussed or considered unless the marriage is truly solid. Bro, this marriage clearly isn't solid, which you obviously know because you're kind of admitting that here, even though before you said that it was. Also, from this point, you can't go into an open marriage situation because she's already betrayed you. An open marriage typically only works, and it rarely does even then, if you decide these things prior to getting married. When you first go into it and you realize, okay, we're both the type of person who doesn't necessarily want to be locked down into a monogamous thing, we're going to agree not to be monogamous, and we're going to go forward with that mindset. That's a completely different thing than you being married for six years or together for 11, then your wife goes out on you, tries to keep it a secret, completely betrays you. And then once you find out about it, she says, oh, well, now that you know I'm a complete piece of garbage, why don't we just open this thing up so I can continue doing what I've already been doing behind your back? Clearly your wife wants to have her cake and eat it too. She doesn't respect you. She doesn't respect this marriage. And the only thing for you to do now is to move forward without her because nothing is gonna make this good, guaranteed. Now I get that this whole thing is a bit shocking and new and you're still kind of not thinking clearly about the whole situation. But the reality is this person is garbage. You knew she was garbage. The fact that she was an alcoholic prior to this whole situation, you knew this was coming or at least you knew the possibility of this was coming. So what are you gonna do now? Just allow her to go out of town, which she can't not go because it's part of her work. She has to go. So you're just going to be stuck at home during these future trips, wondering what she's doing, actually knowing exactly what she's doing and just forcing yourself to be okay with it. Get real. You're going to be miserable. You're only going to go downhill from this point because 
She's gonna continue doing what she does and you're gonna continue to be upset about it, but given how spineless you've been up to this point and everything that you're saying here, it sounds like you're just gonna allow her to get away with this while you continue to be driven to an absolute negative place. For the sake of your mental health and your child before they become old enough to be aware of what a sham this marriage is, leave this woman and take your kid with you so she doesn't have a negative effect on them. Because obviously, a person with all the problems that she has is not capable of being a great mother. So I was actually gonna end this video right here, but then I realized that this guy is convinced that the trickle-truthing ended with just a smooch and a chair. He's not even aware that his wife actually has been cheating on him with this guy. He thinks that what she told him was the whole truth. So I went down and looked into the comments and of course everybody else is saying the same thing I said that bro, what are they, teenagers? Smooching in a chair is not what adults do. And he responds to their comments even after everyone's telling him, every single person saying, get real man, your wife is lying to you, they've been doing more. And he still is arguing with people saying that he knows the truth, that he believes her and that he's convinced that she she did only what she told him. This guy is completely out of it. So somebody asked him what the other wife thought if she believed that all they did was what his wife said or if they went all the way. And his response is, the AP's wife doesn't know what to believe. Her husband hasn't been as open with her as my wife has been with me. <laughs> of course it got downvoted. Yeah, your wife is not open with you, my friend. This guy is obviously completely in denial and he's just making a fool of himself in these comments. So then another person says, you know she's lying, right? <laughs> yeah. And somebody else says, he's lying to himself at this point. <laughs> no kidding. And he replies, my only response to the 100 plus comments saying that she slept with or is sleeping with this guy, <laughs> yeah, everybody's telling you the truth, but you refuse to believe it, is that today I've had another conversation with her and I have to believe her. B why do you have to believe her? You all only have what I type to go off of, and that's fair, but that's all you have to go on. That's all we need to go on, my friend. We have that in common sense. I agree it's hard to believe, but none of you have any more verification than I do, so just because you say it doesn't make it true. Yeah, 100 plus people all saying the same thing with nothing to gain, but you're the one who knows the truth. But he says, based on everything else that was discussed with her, not included in my post, I believe her. What, more lies? The comments here are appreciated, though plenty were hard to read. That's because you know they're the truth. And yeah, the kid is definitely mine. <laughs> I do agree that the work situation must change. Contact of a personal nature has stopped, and yes, I believe her, but they had to interact at work as they have the same manager. And of course he gets like 150 downvotes for this, as he should, because this is ridiculous. He really believes his wife here, he's clearly in complete denial about this whole situation, and the fact that he's here saying, oh, things must change, why would things change? Why would she do anything differently than she has just because now you found out about it? Of course she's just gonna continue to do whatever she wants. She's only gonna hide it better next time. And every time she takes another one of these work trips, you're gonna be sitting at home miserable about what in the back of your mind you know what's actually going on while you lie to yourself and try to convince yourself that everything's okay. You're like the real life embodiment of that burning house, this is fine dog meme. But anyway, there's no hope for this guy. What do you all think about this situation? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments and click like for the algorithm. Subscribe Subscribe if you're new and let's get into the next one. So he's 39 and she's 36. He says, we've been married for 11 years and have two kids. We haven't had a perfect marriage, mostly due to my deep negative state and anxiety. It hasn't been perfect at all, but we do love each other. When we started dating, we both agreed that cheating is not an option since her previous boyfriend cheated on her. Bro, why do so many guys say this? You know who's most likely to tell you cheating's not an option? Cheaters. Anyway. He says, with that said, over the course of our marriage, I've caught her emotionally cheating on me twice. And you stuck with her anyway, huh? Both times she blew it off because she never initiated the conversations. I knew it was just text messages, but it still hurt. That was years ago and we moved on. Yeah, she moved on to new men. About a year ago in October, I got the feeling she was emotionally cheating on me again. And at this point, our bedroom life was really minimal, maybe twice a month. Instead of exploding, I just let it go because I didn't have any proof. Then about a month or two later, I asked if she was flirting with anyone else because she started getting really into really good looking undies and had mentioned about taking pictures, but I wasn't getting them. <laughs> she said it just made her feel good. Yeah, so did the D she was getting on the side. So I believed it. Around January of this year, I saw a message she had with her massage therapist basically saying that she felt so good. His response was, yeah, but what are we gonna do? Leave our spouses? Oh no. I didn't confront her about that because it could have just meant the massage. Okay, are you serious? That's what I tried telling myself anyway, so I let it go. Then on Valentine's Day, we went to a show and she casually mentioned to me that I should date someone else because her friend does that and they're extremely happy. Oh, here we go. That's when I knew, but needed proof. At this time, I decided to be a better partner. 
Okay, your wife cheats, so you decide you need to be better? Our marriage became so much better, but I couldn't shake the feeling that she was possibly cheating on me. Yeah, that's why it was better, because she was happy doing what she was on the side. I asked her again if she ever cheated on me, and she said no. Fast forward to the end of October. We're doing great. Probably the best we've ever been. She got a new phone, but needed something off of her old phone, and that was my opportunity. I looked through her messages with her best friend. They went back a year, and sure enough, I read it. They started flirting around November, and then affair started in January. I confronted her the next day while the kids were staying at the sister-in-law's house, and she told me everything. It happened five times, all while she was getting massages, and once at a hotel. It's not ongoing, and she blocked him before the confrontation. It ended at the end of August or around the beginning of September. Between us talking that night and what I read, I gathered that she was looking for a replacement for me, but he was just looking for bedroom action. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it usually goes. So he ended up getting fired, I'm guessing from sleeping with clients at the place. My wife believes that she wasn't the only one. Uh, yeah, I doubt she was. So I was devastated. I told her I need time to think, and she did seem extremely sorry. Okay, yeah, after she gets caught? She said she was sorry she did it, and also relieved I found out, so she didn't have to live with it. But she also took shots at me while she apologized. A week later, we had another talk, and I let her know how hurt I was. I never got angry, just emotionally numb. But as of right now, I want to try to work through this because of our kids. I'm already looking into therapy and have been reading or watching videos that are somewhat helping. But now I don't know if I can stay. You shouldn't. I don't feel like I'll ever get over this. You probably won't. As expected, we haven't had any bedroom action since the confrontation because I honestly don't think I can with her. Part of me wants to cheat on her just so she can feel what I'm feeling, but I know that's extremely damaging and somewhat abusive, bro. No, it's not. Just do what you want at this point. She mentioned that she doesn't think I can handle leaving because of my mental health. And honestly, those thoughts have crossed my mind, but I've been good at working through them. Okay, so she's manipulating you into thinking that you can't live without her? It would be so much easier to leave if we didn't have kids and weren't having a great marriage the past couple of months. Yeah, well, two months doesn't make up for what she did. How do people who've been cheated on stay together? I just don't see any way that I can without making our marriage worse. Yeah, uh, people do it because a lot of guys are spineless and for whatever reason, they don't think that they can live without their wives, despite the fact that these wives are making them completely miserable and treating them like garbage. But the fact that you have kids and you don't want to leave for that reason, I can't really fault you for that because even though I don't recommend people stay with a cheater, if it's because of the kids, that's the only possible reason I could imagine why you would stay or what I would accept as a reasonable reason to stay. As far as any advice about the situation, all I could say is if you are going to stick it out for the sake of the kids, stick it out only for as long as you need to for the kids. Once they're grown, get out. And in the meantime, keep watching these videos, read some books, do whatever you can to fix your mental health problems and get out of this negative state that you're in because that's just needs to be done regardless of what happens with your wife. And you can't live a happy life as long as you're dealing with these issues you currently are. So that's pretty much all I can say. Best of luck to you, my friend. And as for the rest of you out there, what do you think about this situation? What relationship advice would you give to this guy? Let us know down in the comments or click like for the algorithm. Subscribe if you're new, share this video with someone you think might like it, and check out my main channel for more culture and relationship-based topics. Till then, hope you all take care of yourselves. Support and be good to good women. Peace.